These little buddies are responsible for a boost that's been drunk for over centuries. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make wine. If you are a student like me, I bet you like to drink. On this channel, we're going to tell you all about making your own booze. From making regular wine, to making meat, to even making other stuff. Like coffee drinks, chocolate drinks, whatever you want. This is Dorm Drinks. Today, we're going to get into the basics of making wine. Now, I get that you're a student, so you can do either one or two things. You can go to the supermarket and buy a whole lot of grapes, or you can buy grape juice. When you work with grape juice, you have to keep one thing in mind, the amount of sugar. Most grape juices show the amount of sugar that's in this liquid already. However, we're going to calculate again with the hydrometer to see how much sugar is in there already and how much we're going to add. So, we'll get out our hydrometer and our little trial jar. And we're going to measure the amount of sugar that's in this already. We just put the hydrometer in and it gives us a gravity of 1.066. So, with some calculation we can uh, calculate how much alcohol that's going to make and how much alcohol we want. Our current gravity is at 1.068, I misspoke earlier. We want a nice alcoholic wine with about 12% alcohol in this. For this to work, I'm going to want this OG, the original gravity, up to 0.09. To get this amount of alcohol, we're going to add sugar, just normal sugar, and with some quick calculations, I've amassed 4 liter of grape juice to add 57 and a half grams of sugar. So we're going to get the stove top here, we're going to dissolve 57 and a half grams of sugar in the grape juice, measure it again, hoping that we get at 1.09 this time, and then we're going to ferment. So we got 57 and a half grams of sugar here, we're going to add that to the pan. And we're going to add our grape juice with it. Now, you don't need all the grape juice in this pan. Just get enough to dissolve in. Then we're going to put it back with the other grape juice. And then we're going to measure it. So, now it's just turning it on and waiting for it to dissolve. While the sugar is dissolving in our grape juice, we're going to prep our bottle that we're going to use. By cleaning it. Now, it's the same cleaning solution that I used earlier. It's tartaric acid and sulfite powder. I'm going to mix that up with some hot water and clean this bottle out. So, we cleaned the bottle and our grape juice and sugar mixture is done. Now, I already filled the bottle halfway up with grape juice and now I'm going to add the sugar and grape juice mixture in as well. I do this because I notice that when you dissolve sugar into a liquid, the volume goes up just a little bit. So if I would empty this whole bottle in there and then add the grape and sugar mixture, I'm probably going to overflow this bottle. So we're going to do this, fill it up to get a nice little headspace for fermenting, and then we're going to put the lid on, give it a good, a good shake so it can mix. We're going to measure it again and then we can start fermenting. So, our grape juice is mixed and we're going to measure it again, hoping that we get to about 1.09. So, we got a little bit lower than I hoped. We get to gravity of 1.085. It's a little bit less than 1.09, but it's still workable. It's very much workable. So, we're going to put this back in here. We're going to take the yeast that we already pitched earlier, and then it can start fermenting. So, I have my yeast mixture that I already pitched earlier, and we're going to put this 
with our wine, cleanse it out with the last bit that we used for the calculation, and then we're going to attach a balloon again this time, and then we're done for now. Mixture is in. So, so we're going to go for the balloon trick again. We're going to punch a little hole through the balloon, and we're going to attach it to the bottle so it can ferment in peace. And there you have it. This is one liter of basic wine. We're going to put this away. It's going to ferment for about two weeks as well as the meat. And then in about two weeks, when this balloon is deflating again, we're going to get back at it, put it into secondary. Thank you for watching this. You can subscribe and you can find me on other social media outlets as well. At Dorm Drinks or Dorm Drinks Show, the info will be down below. If you have any suggestions or comments, put them down below as well. And we'll use that in the next video. And for now, drink safe and good day. Now hold on, don't go just yet. I want to tell you about a little project that I'm going to have this summer. Most of the students live in dorm rooms and dorm rooms are quite small. However, we all have parents and those parents probably have a backyard. My parents' backyard has a grapevine. A grapevine that I'm going to use to make wine. So, later on in the seasons, I'm going to show you how the grapevine is doing when the grapes are ready for harvest and how to make wine from those grapes. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you next week.